And new at six, a jail overcrowded and becoming dangerous for staff and inmates. Arapahoe County, of course, one of the fastest growing counties in our state. And the sheriff's office there says the jail is at a crisis point and the need for a new one is urgent. And Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski takes us inside the problem and what the solution will cost. There's some maintenance challenges. Leaking ceilings, corroding pipes, leading to sewer backups, sometimes once or twice a week. Don't just occur once in a while, they occur quite frequently. Welcome to life inside the aging, overcrowded Arapahoe County Jail. We're at a critical point now where something more needs to be done. Built more than 30 years ago. 1986 for 386 inmates. Chief Vince Lyons says it was never meant to handle the nearly 1,200 inmates now housed here. It's uh, bones, if you were, were not built for the high usage that it's getting. He says the lack of space is also creating a dangerous environment for his staff and inmates. Inmate assaults on deputies are up nearly 120%. 2018 saw the highest number ever recorded in jail history. The safety of everyone within the walls of this facility is a significant concern of mine. On top of safety concerns, Line says they only have 20 medical beds, eight cells for behavioral issues, and the booking and release area is too small and too often over capacity. Total of 18 cells down there um, and 29 bunks, if you will, are beds. Um, and that area frequently holds 70 to 80 inmates. They're so packed. Line says there's no extra room for inmate resources like GED programs and mental health needs. Studies have shown that those who receive more programming while they're in custody commit less crimes when they return to the community. The county is aware of the problem and recently created a committee to help commissioners make decisions about future needs. The solution obviously appears as though a new facility is necessary and, and I believe it, we're, we're at the point now where decisions about that have to be made. But a new jail comes with an estimated $462 million price tag. The biggest question is, if you're going to do it, how do you pay for it? Jennifer Kovalaski, Denver 7. Now, the committee is made up of 25 community members. They will meet for the second time next Tuesday. They're set to make initial recommendations to the commissioners by August.